Hello everybody, another tough one here. Down a lot of TV walks now. This could be a very, very tough matchup. Okay, he hasn't got that many skills. Okay. I was perturbed because obviously 1270 could be a lot of skills. But it's mostly just block on Black Orcs and a move up and a troll in 13 players. So it's not as a scary 1270 Orc team as it could have been. Could have been a much scarier 1270 Orc team. So this isn't too bad. I guess just get the apple here. Wizard would be okay, wouldn't it? I could have scummed the wizard. But with only having 10 players, want to be able to uh, save up for a, a catcher at some point. Now that uh, the catcher that we have is blodged up, we can now add a second catcher and then blodge him up and stuff like that. Quite reasonable. So I'm pretty tired now. <laughs> pretty tired. So yeah, I think this will be the last game for today and then uh, and do some re replays of Chalice. just didn't save, did it? It saved in slot one. Like, it's so stupid, this fucking shithead game, honestly. Absolute shithead game. So yeah, he actually hasn't got that many skills. And the reserves shouldn't matter against ours, really. So, so he's in a way he's got 100 TV wasted anyway. In a way. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, nothing, Russell. Just fancied another game. Literally a million down in TV. Boy, howdy. I just fancied another game. Three games of Blood Bowl. What a shocker. I want to try and do three games a day. I think that's kind of reasonable. And then maybe eventually up it to like four and five. Or maybe not. Because there's art as well. Maybe just do two games a day. I don't know. I don't know how many I should do, to be honest. <sighs> this is good, isn't it? Very deep kick. Three wins or one loss, yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, that's maybe an idea.
This troll go stupid could really uh could really get through his line here. I guess he shouldn't activate the troll. Maybe he should have been there. Hell, oh, maybe he should have been here and him there. But no, then he definitely gets powered. I'm no Rick Reckless. Putting his blitzes on the LOS. That's a bit. It's a bit too extreme for me, that. trying to write our oh, mistakes <laughs> yeah I was like it's, just, it's not acceptable backyard daughter <laughs> <laughs> an accurate blitzer unbelievable yeah like I think it's fine to send in your blitzers sometimes right but I don't like just putting them in putting them in there frivolously frivolously Does it matter if I get there? Not really, does it? Yeah, I just, I just like rule of fiving, and then if you want to blitz a bludge stepper, then go ahead. Like, I think that's fine having them on the edges of your rule of five, but I think putting them on the LOS is a bit mad. And I still wouldn't even let them blitz them on the... I wouldn't even let... I wouldn't even... I don't even particularly like them there, but at least that's a lot better. Is that chalice probably? I've got no idea. Like, I know I did the preview, but I've got literally no idea. Any of the matches. <laughs> oh God, he's going to move seven. And he's going to blitz him. Yeah, it's funny doing the like, you know, doing the previews of all the matches, and then just instantly I've got no idea who, which ever any of them are at all. Mm. 
The only thing I remember is uh, is the uh, Skaven team and the uh, Chaos team. Oh, Dad Daedal's woodies were good, aren't they? I've got four plus in for a one day here. <laughs> Doesn't seem so great now, does it? Having a three plus two. I guess I could three plus two him out to tag there, and then he could four plus in. And nail him. <laughs> Great pep talk. I'm okay with this actually. Two, three, four, five, six. You can go there. I could even go there. <laughs> or I could just blitz him. Should just hit the corner because, like, pinning him, blitzing the corner pins him in more effectively, doesn't it? I guess, like, basing the ball when he's this deep in his own half, but then getting in and powering him would have been like incredible. And even if I just push him, then this guy can come in, and then there's a bludger there and a bludger there. 75% of the time it's pretty good, isn't it? I've got no idea, dear. I've got no idea. Is it 1 1 1 2? Yeah, it's not great, was it? But 75% of the time it's, it's pretty good, isn't it? Like powering him, and he's in so much trouble with two bludgers there. These guys here, this guy ready to GFI in as well. So like... I don't hate going for four pluses sometimes, but maybe I shouldn't have bothered, because going totally safe was still pretty decent. Like just pushing him. And then you've got a bludger on the ball, he's got a punch and maybe he's blitz. And But I guess even after failing this, he's still in, in a bit of a pickle, isn't he? Powers me bludgy. Powers me bludger. Yeah, one turner is very annoying. This isn't the worst, like he's very deep, isn't he? He's very deep. And I can always just switch to screening and hope he can't make it. Also he's got to foul him or move the ball. And he can't get anyone to foul him, apart from a blitzer, so I don't know what his player's gonna be. Oh he could have blitzed, okay, so he could have blitzed and fouled the black block, I guess. Uh. 
good. Good stun's fine, I just thought he was gonna die after having so many positionals die. <laughs> Yeah, one turn is totally brainless, aren't they? Completely brainless, it's so annoying. Oh my god, it's so annoying how brainless one turners are. I mean, how is he gonna foul this guy? Where is he putting the ball? Is he just okay with getting the ball one deed? He can't be okay with just getting the ball one deed. I mean, I guess he is. That seems like not a thing to be okay with. GFI in there is pretty good. He's got to be in a bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle here, hasn't he? I, uh, I don't like having a plan at all, to be honest. My plan is to not have a plan. Just react to whatever's going on every turn. That's always my plan in everything, like whether it's 40k, Warhammer, all those games, always the same, just just see what happens and react. That's why I prefer like control decks and magic, because then you can just play what happens, right? Oh, I'm not making a screen here, I guess he should have been one further up. Letting him get through there is pretty bad, isn't it? Plan roll sixes, yeah, I don't know, like, my friend would make plans and I just thought that was crazy, because... I just don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I, I have more fun with control decks anyway, but yeah. Like, that was why... It, oh, shit. This was, this was yeah. yeah. I was always control. Like, I hate the kind of, you know... Even combo decks, like, even when they're powerful, it's just... I just don't like it. And... And obviously, idiot aggro decks are... are pretty shit. But I did have fun with Tempered Steel. I, uh, I stopped playing Magic for ages and then uh, and then Tempered Steel was a deck. And it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun that I had no idea how to play. Like, I hadn't played for ages and I did loads of things wrong. And like, you know, I was making loads of, I was making loads of misplays all the time with them. But it just literally didn't matter because you would just play fucking Tempered Steel and win. <laughs> oh, he's powered me bludger. Diced. Diced. The week before they nerfed it. I I quit. I I used to play. Um, what's the what's the one called? Uh, Legacy. And then I stopped playing Legacy because they banned my deck and I was sad. <laughs> they just like banned everything about my deck. I was like, well, thanks then. One with like, uh, you know, not Ancestral Recall, Ancestral Visions. And uh, a counter that was free. Whatever that was called. And like Chase, TMS, things like that. He wasn't. Uh, oh, the fucking. There was the uh, thing as well, wasn't there? The, there was a disgusting. 
It was Stoneforge Mystic, yeah, yeah, Stoneforge Mystic. They banned, they banned Stoneforge Mystic and all that shit. Oh my god. Oh, fuck me, man. Dice have not been on our side this time, I'll tell you. for another skull. Good. I mean he's in he's in trouble still, isn't he? I guess he just gets punched and that does a job. This is looking more and more like a perfect eight turn stall though. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. Stop pitching like a little baby and try mm. and fucking play better, eh? Hello, Papa Piki. Yeah. Yeah, I like I liked I liked some I liked some but I don't know, even even like I I you know, there's some combo decks that I don't mind, but mostly I just prefer control and just doing things. You know, playing what what happens rather than just goal fishing. And I know that not all combo decks are just goal fishing, but mostly they are. And mostly aggro decks almost are, aren't they? Like almost. Almost. I don't want to do anything brainless like shitty aggro decks. But then like goblins were like a combo deck as well as an aggro deck, weren't they? When you had uh, the recruiter and all that. Yeah, cheap ass. They were expensive, weren't they? The Siege Gangers and that. That's when I started playing when they were like Siege Gangers and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there was a surprising amount of control in turn. I appreciated. Yeah, fair enough, Kalon. Fair enough. Like to be fair, fair enough. I am I am pretty good at games. Not so much controlling video games, but yeah, like grasping things and stuff, you know. Ideas and what have you. So yeah, I guess that's that's reasonable. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> ah, look at Kalon being nice to me. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> It is funny. I mean, got the guard free now. It's always blitzing. He's doubled. He's doubled down. He's got. He's got to use his last reroll. He's only. He's only pushed. And now he is surely, surely up shit creek. 
Just have to get the guard in somehow. So I have to hit him. That might have fucked me actually. For not being nice. Oh, he's a strength four. Fuck me. That maybe I shouldn't have done that hit. For not being nice. Thanks, Tom Schnitz. That's that's acceptable. Right, so 1D to there, and then just put the guard in for the 2D. Yeah, so I can 1D. Just need the 2 plus here. Good. And another two plus. No, not that way. Another two plus. Good. Fuck off. <laughs> you absolute motherfucker. This has got perfect date turn stall all written all over it, hasn't it? What could I have blitzed? I had a one D left. Oh what dodged with him and one deed without block. I'd rather let him do that. <laughs> I'd rather let him do that, thanks. Fucking finally. Your ass. Your ass. Jesus. Ah. No. Ah. How the f how is it the worst possible scatter? The literal worst possible scatter. I don't believe it. Where's the guard? Eh? Blitz with this guy. <laughs> so fucked. <laughs> yeah, four after this game, cheese, yeah. Well, providing I can remain. Comprehensible during that. <laughs> What's this Twitter? Let's have a look at this Twitter. A giant C. <laughs> a giant C for calcium or a C for C nut? Who knows? <laughs> I 
<laughs> I like how j 5s has got 10 likes. With a bloody... <laughs> the hype is best of the glow sticks. The blitz orc onto the ball. I mean, I couldn't look at it. I don't think I could. Maybe I'm just being stupid, but I didn't see any way I could do anything exciting. Cone heads for Chalice, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. I'd really like to get the ball at some point this half. He's been playing man down as well for no reason. Which was nice of him. Oh wow, he's gonna scat the ball for me. Hmm. Alright, surely. Surely this is gonna be enough to get the ball. This catch has got the two plus out. Do I only have the uh, three plus pick up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, all the knockdowns, that's nice, isn't it? Cas. Very nice. Really nice. Oh, apple fail as well. Glorious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is even better, isn't it? There. And then a two to secure it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's five. Finally, finally got the bloody ball. Shame that I couldn't, like, hand off to the rookie blitzer. <laughs> Absolute filth. <laughs> yeah, maybe there could have been, like, some sexy chain there, but it wasn't necessary, was it? Just especially getting the power. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Perfect eight turn stall there from you, Jim. Unbelievable. Oh, it's definitely DACA time. It's always DACA time. Thanks, Pe uh, thanks, Pe thanks, Perivale, and thanks, Perivale as well. It was a perfect stall, wasn't it? In the end, in the end, it was a perfect stall. It was really scary though, because obviously any turn he could have just, you know, there could have been an early critical fail, or he could have banged people out. Or, you know, it's like he wasn't getting the ball off him, which is pretty, pretty flipping annoying. 
pretty flipping annoying to never get the ball off him because like he could have just easily he could have easily like got the ball away at some point and he even had like this this stupid line or that like you know he could have tried to throw and then it would have been over I'm surprised he didn't use the t strategy of the uh, the best player in the world, R5TW, uh, who just has to tag players and then that's it. I'll <laughs> try, yeah, I mean, that's well known, isn't it? If you win games of Blood Bowl, you've just got a terrible, a terrible, terrible existence. Um, is there anything better than just dodging here? I don't think so. Well, not yet, Penef Penef. He's got to learn how to play first. <laughs> did I pathogeify that they don't make? That's a good thing to do. I think I did it by mistake, but can you pathogeify and then not have to make them? That's pretty good. Yeah, just six more Chalice titles till Page is the new Crucifer. Yeah, he's pretty far away from Crucifer right now. He's the new Zigini. Zigini always used to grind out records at the start of the season, monster teams and slaughter people. Yeah, in terms of grind, he's the new Zigini. Zigini always did that. Zigini always smashed the start of the season. Like always. He's the new his brother, exactly. Yes, Cornite, the good old days. Yeah, he's better than most. Like, he's better than most. You know, like, maximising two dice blocks is is probably 90% of the skill of Blood Bowl, right? <laughs> so. <laughs> you know, fair enough. Alright, so if he scores, he levels. Yeah, he's, he, he had a pretty good record as well, didn't he? It was, I saw it was a pretty good record. Oh, well, it's a Mr. P. I don't know. Anyway, I saw on his stream his, his record was pretty good. I didn't even see on his stream, I just looked at the. Uh, I just looked at, you know, ladder, and he was top of ladder with a pretty good record. Yeah, it's not, like, it's not bad, it's not, it's not the best record ever, but it's pretty good. He drew against Chunk. Another good thing about the Dakar is that it, it helps against blitzers, doesn't it? 
Yeah, I mean, the, the chat of every streamer is is a bit stupid, right? It's We always end up a bit delusional. <laughs> and maybe it's because most streamers are a bit delusional. But generally, you'll find that the... Uh... Oh, shit. Most chats are a bit delusional. Yeah, some are worse than others, but then some streamers are worse than others, aren't they? Man, this is pretty rubbish because I want I want to farm passes. Oh, I've got an extra apple. Got an extra apple, no problem. No problem. I've got an extra apple. Easy, easy. Mr. Page uh, does have a hard time versus Alice. Yep. And it, it's hard to learn how to beat them, I guess, or how to play against them as well, right? Because you've got to, like, you'd actually have to put in effort at, like, playing competent players, and how do you even get competent players to try against with good teams? Like, it's not an easy thing to train for, is it? Like, you know, if you wanted to train um, your ability to play against elves. It's not easy, is it? You motherfucker! <laughs> Very sad. That that rock costs me a completion. Sort of space cadetting them, yeah, try. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm Queen of England, I'll have you put in the tower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Probably, yeah. Mm. Another 3 and 36. Really, game? Yeah, generally, like some, some people, without naming any names. <laughs> Or implying anything. <laughs> a lot of streamers tend to think they're better than they are, don't they? And uh, and then and then a lot of a lot of chats tend to think that the streamers are better than they are, <laughs> or as good as they say they are, or even better than they say they are. And. And yeah, and then like, and people think that their style is the best and things like that. And it's all, just is what it is, isn't it? And people struggle against Skaven because Skaven are fucking the most OP, right? They're the most punishing. The, Skaven are the most punishing when anything goes wrong. Thanks, Try. I, I never big up myself. I try not to big up myself. But I mean, I know I'm good. <laughs> Like, I know I'm good. I know I'm better than most people. But, I try not to, uh... I try not to pick myself up too much. Which is difficult, because I'm so fucking good. Try again on this guy. Catch for the win. Glorious. Absolutely flipping glorious. Some streamers struggle against Space Cadet. Yeah, that's true, Penna. Yeah. Glorious. No, I yeah, that's a good point, Ice Smiles. I mean, to be fair, I'm victorious. I tend to... I, 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 I know I'm better than I am when I'm streaming. I, will I, I tend to be pretty unfocused when streaming. Huh. Like, I don't focus at all. 
I'll never forget it, uh, Ducky saying he lost focus for a turn, and it's like, holy shit, I don't have focus for any turns. <laughs> like I do in Chalice, I try hard in Chalice, but like most most streams, it's just fucking bollocks. Um, thank you very much, Bland Spaghetti Dinner, for staying fantastic for seven glorious months. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, mine worse is against Kislev, I think, just because low sample size, and they're pretty variable. They're pretty dice rolling Kislev, so it's not surprising. I love Dakaring, it's so good. It's so good. All we see is Jimmy doing the Dakar. Playing no blood ball. <laughs> doing the Dakar. <laughs> job we dacked. <laughs> yeah, try, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? That Like, that's the thing. That's the thing that is so disingenuous about Daka Deniers. Because you don't automatically quick score. If you try to quick score, it's not an automatic 100% success rate. If it was, then the Daka would be a lot worse. A lot worse. But that is not the case. It is simply not true. The data does not support that assertion. One, two, three, four. Let's punch him. This is probably going to be a bit hairy, this. This, uh, <laughs> this house is probably going to be a bit crap and scary and might end up drawing, but never mind. I have no idea, Penef Penef. <laughs> probing for a loose hole. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit of probing, isn't it? There's a bit of probing. Got to do a bit of probing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Hmm. I mean, Dak is Dak is really good when, when you're ahead. When you're ahead, it's good because they have to come towards you and put pressure on and then they necessarily have to leave gaps to do that. It's quite good when you down players because it stops you getting hit. 
and you can move all of yours to one side and like you know gain an advantage one side and stuff. But yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. Once once they're down players, yeah, then it's good because they can't cover. But obviously, if they've got eleven, they can cover quite well. <laughs> Probing. Dak is just generally good. Like it just depends. It depends like. How well it like it depends what the situation is, isn't it? Like it's it's obviously not always great, but it's it's often pretty good, I think. I think I'm just gonna go back to the middle so that I've got options if he uh to um go either way because I just have to turtle don't I? I don't actually have to score now this is a turtle dacker at this point Yeah, cowardly. <laughs> Absolute injustice of not getting caught. <laughs> Yeah. Calcium does it with charm though, doesn't he? <laughs> the next day he's playing Woody's. <laughs> I will fucking drop kick Jesus. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the thing about dwarves, isn't it? That's why people hate dwarves the most because they probably they've got a good chance of beating you and a good chance of hurting you and a good chance of you not getting any SPPs at all because you don't score and you don't hurt them. <laughs> Proper annoying. Proper annoying dwarves. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, there's no need to do anything, is there? Do you shoot a play guy? Doesn't really do anything, does it? Nobody wants to play against anything. <laughs> I think dwarves are definitely like the worst though for that. Does the orc know he's losing? Yeah, I'm I'm unsure that he see I'm not sure. I'm gonna find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just. I mean, really, just wants to wait to, to pile in, but like delaying life. is just. It doesn't matter if he loses two 0 does it? So he, he shouldn't really have delayed. He could have done this four turns ago. And uh, and you know. Okay, there's less time for me to score now. I'm not gonna make it two 0 
I find Norse irritating, but you know they're not on the same level as dwarves, are they? Where you just don't get to, hurt them. you just don't get to SPPs and stuff. The worst dicing you've ever seen in your life. Wow. Yeah, that's true. Try, that's true. People do like to mourn about things. <laughs> and this isn't easy, is it? This isn't easy. You've got, you've got so much strength four and strength five that there's no. There's, there's not going to be an easy way out unless he fucks up. One in thirty six here, it's not good. <laughs> but uh I'm a little bit tempted to go for this. Just break through. What's the safer play? I guess the safer play is just move here and then none of the fails are completely hundred percent critical. But there's less chance of it going well. a bit shit. pretty badly. It's gone pretty badly. I knew this was going to happen early on, to be honest. If I'd got the power on this guy, it would have been through and clear, though. But did not get the... Uh, did not get the power on that guy. Power on this guy and it's it's all over because it's come through and everything's good. Everything's Gucci. Gucci and fine. But yeah, this is pretty this is pretty bad. This could be a draw. I mean likely to be a draw. Yeah, maybe I'd committed harder to going here. I would have had more stuff there. I like going through. I like. I preferred going through. I thought going through just gave us more space to move into and stuff, right? So I would, I, that's why I tried to get through. 
I think if you get through, it's definitely a win. Whereas you try to go through here, it's a few more rolls and it might not work. But I guess if I if I hadn't committed those things there and committed them over here, this tidies this up more and maybe it's better. Got four dice on the ball. Thirteen to thirty. Wow, doesn't we roll it? What a mad lad. Pretty sure he should have re-rolled it. I can't see the play. Has she got a very clever play here to uh, win somehow? Can he win somehow here? With amazing play? I think he should have definitely re-rolled that. There is a play if he ends the turn now, but whether he'll end the turn now or not is another question. I guess you want to do GFIs. He's gone stupid. He's gone stupidy. Um. And he used the he used the reroll on the trolls, stupid. I mean, the thing about going there is a two plus, isn't it? And then two pluses to go. It's not bad. I want to hit him. I can't. And I want to hit him, and I can't. I rather can't easily. I think I blitz him off. And try to dodge through. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. No, I'm just going to do it anyway, I've got a reroll. That was pretty unlucky, wasn't it? Needed 3 2 with a reroll and failed. I could have just gone there and then gone a 2 plus to. Uh... Maybe he should have been back there, right? Maybe he should have been back and then just get to there and not have him as a handoff thing, have him back here. So that if I had to reroll it, he would be the screen already. I guess this proves that the DAC is bad. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, like, I could have just lobbed it from here, right? 
but then obviously the the the, the interceptions horrendous, and there's a good chance of failing the cat the pass. Could have moved him to like there, so that it would have been a one, two, three, four, five, six. Was it there? Would that have been a three plus pass? That might have been the play, might not it? But obviously, there's a chance that the, the dodge doesn't pop on the first dodge. But two one in nines is a bit rubbish. Stay in the corner, but then you get surfed, and then it goes anywhere, and you can easily lose, can't you? Pretty bad because you're in a tackle zone, aren't you? I think you're better off trying to dodge through. He's just fouled. Come on, get something. Didn't have a bribe, he just fouled for no reason. Oh, he can't see where the ball is! Oh, GG. <laughs> yeah, look, the ball's there. And he doesn't know where it is. He doesn't know where the ball is. He can't. He can't see the play, guys. He just literally can't see the play, guys. Wow. Wow. What a look at dog. <laughs> look at dog, Jim. Daka confirmed amazing. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's too late now, isn't it? There's no time to tell him. Wow. Yeah, the blue, the blue, the blue was there. That's got to be the closest. That's got to be the closest. It's going to be amazing, guys. Whew, boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. Got away with that one. Flip me. Yeah, maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't look for it or whatever. Maybe it wasn't visible to him. Who knows? Who knows? <sighs> Daka proven best strat. That was terrible, wasn't it? That was I. I like. I knew it was going to be tough. But um, I'm not sure that go wrestle. Up. I think wrestle. I like having reliable punches. And plus it lets you go for ball sacks, doesn't it? I like going for some. Oh, maybe I could have block on the first one. But I've already got block and a catcher by now. Um, could buy... the catcher to go to 11. Or could just wait to go over 150. I'll think about it a little bit. But yeah, got away with one there. Holy moly. Holy moly. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Stay fantastic.